of Senator Colbeck. Thank you, Deputy President. Deputy President, I asked a very simple question of the Leader of the Government. Can you remember the last time unleaded petrol, on average, cost less than $2 per litre? We still haven't had that answer or the answer to that question. We still haven't had the answer to that question. Labor member after Labor member has got up and told us how focused they are. How focused they are. Their number one focus is cost of living. True. Not one of them could tell us the last time the price of fuel was under two dollars a litre. They are so focused on cost of living they don't know the last time the price of fuel was under two dollars a litre on average across Australia. That's how focused they were. They get up and they tell us they understand they understand how much this is hurting Australian families. They care about the impact on Australian families. But what Australian families want, what Australian families want is not the government's understanding, is they want the government to do the things they promised they would do before the election. That's what Australian families want. This government promised Australian families a $275 reduction in their energy prices. What has this government delivered? A 20 per cent plus increase in electricity prices. Not $275 reduction, a 20 per cent plus increase in energy prices. This government promised higher real wages. What's this government delivering? Lower real wages. They, tr they dress it up in tricky language. They talk about getting wages moving again. But what they, they don't admit, what they don't be honest with the Australian people about is the fact that real wages are reducing under this government. They have a go at us and yet real wages rose under the period of the previous government. Real wages increased under the coalition. Low inflation, yes, lower wage increases than the percentage numbers we're seeing now, but real increase in wages. And so people are actually seeing their overall situation go backwards under this government. When they were promised it would go the other way. Australians don't want the government's understanding. They want them to keep their promises. They want them to do what they said they would do. They inferred. They inferred. That's what Mr Albanese was doing when he said in a photo op, who remembers when petrol was under a dollar a litre? That's what that was all about, when it was a dollar seventy-five point nine, just prior to the last election. No one over there can tell us when it was last under two dollars. Simple question. Simple question. But what did we get? What did we get? We get the angry come out. That's what we get. We ask a simple question. We ask the government a question about their promise. And what do we get? We get the name calling and we get the angry come out. That's what we get. And the Australian people said very clearly last Saturday they're sick of the name calling. They're sick of the, they don't want the guilt trip. They want some respect in this place and that's what we should see in a post-Jenkins environment, I have to say. That's what we should be seeing. We ask a simple question. It's reasonable for us to ask that that question be answered. And for the Australian people, it's, it's reasonable for them to expect that the promises that this government made when they were seeking election are kept. It's a pretty simple thing. Talked about restoring confidence in government. We talked about transparency. We're seeing none of that. But let's go back to those promises. Promised lower inflation, they're delivering higher inflation. They promised a $275 reduction in electricity bills. They're delivering a 20 per cent plus increase. The inference was that they could lower fuel prices. Now they can't remember when the price of fuel was under 
They promised higher real wages, they're delivering lower real wages. Australians deserve a government that will keep its promises, Mr Deputy President. I put the question.